Welcome to Friday Night at the Movies. Um, thank you for uh, supporting me so far. Thank you for staying with me and all your kind comments on the videos so far. There's plenty more coming up. I'm uh, working day and night trying to find videos for you guys. So uh, yeah, please do stay with me. Please spread the word and, uh, and keep supporting me the way you have done so far. Now, one of the questions that I have had in the videos so far is um, how I actually rip the adverts and the trailers from the VHS cassettes onto my laptop in, you know, in decent quality. I won't say it's very good quality, but in decent quality. So I'm just doing a very quick video today to show you how I do that. Uh, now, this is my setup. This is my video player. Um, it's actually a video player and DVD recorder. Um, it's a Toshiba model RDX V60. Now one of the really good things about this is that it has an HDMI output. So we can use this sort of HDMI lead um, which goes into the back of this and then this can just plug into the TV. Um, and this is makes life a lot easier for recording and for ripping videos. Um, so what I have done is I have purchased, uh, just from Amazon, you can get an HDMI video capture card. Now this wasn't very expensive at all. This was about 10, 11 pounds, something like that from Amazon. Um, and this is something you can just plug into your computer. You can plug your HDMI cable into this side. It's just a USB on this side. Just plug it into the computer and it works almost straight away. Now, most videos won't have a uh, HDMI output, which isn't a problem. What you can do is there are SCART to HDMI converters available on the uh, internet. So you could just buy one of those instead. And um, then you can uh, put SCART cable into the back of your video player, go through the converter and have an HDMI cable coming out into something like this. So it's all quite straightforward. Your HDMI cable just goes through there. That attaches to it. Now you put this into your USB drive. So that is your video player attached to your laptop. In terms of capturing, you need the right software. Now I'm using a piece of free software called OBS Studio, which looks a little bit like this. So this is the uh, software. Uh, you can download this free if you just Google um, OBS Studio, it will come up. It's a free download. So you can download this software. Once you've got this, you'll need to go to your video capture source. You just highlight that and then click on your settings it brings up all your different settings and you can choose your device so here you have USB video if you drop down there's a webcam uh, logic capture various different things but you want USB video because that's what you've connected and scroll down to make sure you get the audio as well these are all your video settings which you can choose at your own pleasure and then audio device, again you need the USB digital audio. Once you've got that, OK. And uh, then it's just a case of playing your video. So as you can see on the screen, this has come up. You can see this is the display from the video. If, if I just play, press the display button, as you can see, the video that she started playing, forward through this. And it actually starts. So then, you know, when you get to the section of the video you want to play, or you want to record, I should say, all you have to do is come over here, you've got a start recording button. Um, Start recording, 
and you record however much you want to record. That'll do, I'm just doing a 10 second clip just to show you. And then if you go to, now I have it set up to go to a folder on my desktop, recorded videos, and then you can see the video that was playing has actually recorded on as an mp4 file on my laptop. Now again you can choose in OBS if you just go to files and settings under the output settings you can choose where your videos record to so you can select your folder that isn't an issue at all and that's uh, that's effectively it that is how, uh, it's all very very simple that's how you can record videos from uh, vhs how you can convert them to digital hope you enjoyed it hope the video was useful for you and let me know if you have any questions